Tell me what you need when you hit the studio, bro. Some water. Because I'm going to go the fuck in. Uh, and a, a dope engineer. That's it. Dope, dope engineer and a, uh, a couple bottles of water. And the only reason I need a dope engineer is because when I'm going in that shit, I need you to understand that I'm not coming to play. Like, it's going to be in and out, in and out, in and yeah, out. Like, yeah. like we're going to have to work. And I'll let you do your mix and master on your side, on, on your time, know what I mean? But when I'm coming, I'm just coming to spit, and I'm out. I feel you, I feel you. So, like, what's your what, what, what's your preparation schedule like? Like, what you, uh, how do you go about getting yourself ready to go to the studio? And, like, what's your... I guess, like, what's the proper way that you feel to put, put to prepare yourself for the studio? Like, when you go in there? Um, for one, I think you need to, first off, get you a batch of beats. Yeah. Like, and you need to get it the right way. Buy them. You know, you need to purchase the beats. And you only need to get one, two beats. Um, you need to get a big batch of beats. And you need to write, 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 or however you do it. Uh. And, um... And with that, you need to plan your plan your music and plan your studio time. So with that being said, you need to know all your music. Like that's all you need to be listening to. Once you got a plan to make a project, you don't really need to have no outside distractions. Yeah. You need to listen to you 24/7. So what I do, I mean, and this could be a Jew to some niggas who don't understand, but what I do is I get a batch of beats, I write. And I recite them all day, every day, all day, every day. Like, I don't give a fuck if I'm at work. I'm going to just have a beat playing in my air or whatever. Or I can just be spitting what I wrote a cappella, yeah. just in my head, you know, just remembering my lyrics. So by the time I get to that studio, I don't even need nothing to read off. Fact. I go in that shit, I'm in and out, Fact. you know. And, and, and most of it be one take. And if it ain't one take, it's me punching in. Cause I don't practice my song so much that I know when I get tired, I need to stop there, and then I need to pick it right back up after that. Yeah, you, yeah. you know. So it, it all just come in with preparing yourself to um be in the studio for a long time and don't book no fucking hour. Like I mean, yeah, you can do some music in an hour, but if you're working on a project, I mean, book like two, three hours. Know what I mean? Yeah, and, and, yeah. And, and be prepared to do like three songs in an hour, at least minimum three songs in an hour. Yeah, you know. And and you can do it if you be prepared. Facts, facts, facts. So you give you you pretty much just give like a a blueprint for how you want your shit to sound with the engineer. Are you really familiar with the engineer? That's another thing like artists need to learn to like find an engineer like they they comfortable with. You That's know a what fact. I mean? That's a fact. And 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 I'm glad you said that because I mean you can make music with anybody. Yeah. And for one. You need to find somebody who can relate to your sound, who understand your sound, who can have a work ethic like you. Yeah. Cause yeah. If that motherfucker fumbling over his shit and and and, and keep fucking up where you put to start at and all this shit in the third. It's like you need to move on. Know what I mean, let yeah. him get his shit right, and maybe you can fuck with him in the future. But you gotta find what suits you at the end of the day. Facts. You know. That's what's up. That's what's up. I'm glad. I'm shit. That's. I mean, sometimes, I, you know, I go to the studio, I be fucking up sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, but my shit be all off of just, like, vibes and shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just want to vibe out, make some shit organic and, and keep it moving. But, like, a lot of cats do come to the studio and don't have no clue. They See, a lot of niggas to... come to the studio and write. Yeah. I never understood that. My nigga, you paying your money to record yeah. Not to write and yeah. record. Yeah. So the plan is to write right. and to remember before yeah. you get there. Yeah, so man. when you get there, you can be one take Timmy. In and out. Facts. Know what I mean? And, and that way, you'll be done have you a whole catalog by the time you even fucking know it. Know what I mean? Uh, yeah. Telling you. Telling you. And, and make sure you you um sit with your engineer. I mean, you know, take some time out. After you done record your songs, there's nothing wrong with learning. Because yeah, cause yeah. nobody know your sound like you. I don't give a fuck how dope that engineer is. At the end of the day, nobody know how 
you want your music played is how you want it played. You know what I mean? So you need to kind of learn a little bit of engineer if you want to be a rapper. I feel, well, an artist, period. You need to yeah. learn how this sounds because that's how you want it to sound. You need to learn how to make that happen. You know what I 